Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. So it's Wednesday morning and I hope everyone has a fantastic week. Um, it's been extremely busy for me uh, when it comes to photo shoots and um, some other assignments actually I'm working on these days. So um, I'm really sorry that I you know, don't vlog as much as I would love to. Um, I hope you guys will forgive me. Um, so today's vlog, I would like to, I would say, continue the conversation I started last time when we uh, talk a little bit about um, dealing with uh, big companies and, and how to approach them and how to I would say negotiate with them and how to communicate um, I also mentioned what is important for me and what's the red flags are when you know you will see some situations which is kind of getting out of hand and how to deal with them so I hope you guys found this interesting um, and I would like to continue this uh, topic because um, I received a lot of emails and, and questions and, 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 and things which um, get me thinking a little bit um, about this, this entire uh, subject. So um, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, dealing with individual clients. Even you know dealing with big companies you also you're still dealing with um, individuals but I would like to talk a little bit about um, dealing with the like individual client who comes up to you and want to do uh, the headshot session or portrait session with you um, as you guys probably remember um, like I was many many years in the wedding industry and um, I have to admit I've learned so much from it because um, you know this industry is really tense and then you're dealing with, with with different people different cultures different you know just different things um, on a daily basis so you have to have some kind of strategy how to um, you know deal with those guys um, so I definitely you know bring some of those things to um, the headshot uh, business and um, I'm still using some of those stuff um, so I just want to talk about it a little bit because I think those are universal things and I, I've noticed that um, I've been doing some of those mistakes for so many years and I didn't know why um, I didn't figure it out um, but um, you know that's the way it is these days we have to learn hard lessons sometimes and um, that's the only way we're gonna make progress and we basically um, learn something from some of those situations so we can in the future um, don't I would say make the same mistakes so um, one of the biggest mistakes and this is what I'm going to be focusing mostly on on uh, when it comes to this discussion um, what photographers do um, and that was including myself I was doing this um, big mistake for years um, was that whenever we meet with the client uh, we we trying to sell them um, our services right away um, and that's just a normal thing like I don't think this is something which is wrong with that uh, but we have to take a step back um, and I'll explain what I mean by that so let's say you have a meeting with a potential client you guys I don't know meeting at your place you're meeting at I don't know coffee place whatever whatever works best and then you starting basically try to sell um, and tell them what you do how good you are um, what kind of um, you know images you can provide them and how important you know headshot photography is and then you're trying to kind of uh, bombard them with with all the informations which gonna somehow convince them to um, well hire you or do business with you and I I've been this way for years I remember when I've met some of my clients when it comes to the wedding services I was just throwing at them everything what I do and how good I am and then you know like I was trying to kind of outbeat um, all my competition and then outbeat um, everybody else just to kind of give them the best service and as possible the best price and stuff like that um, and that most of the time um, I was shooting myself in the foot and the reason is is that um, basically you just telling them what you want and what you would like to kind of give it to them you don't really uh, listen what they need um, and that's I would say is my main point we have to learn how to listen to the client um, 
again, it took me years and years and years and um, I couldn't understand why some of those clients, they just ditched me. Um, now, looking back, I absolutely understand, um, you know, what was their, um, well, how they actually just uh, saw me and then how I was like, you know, maybe even um, looking as an idiot uh, because I was just didn't listen to them. I was just, just keep telling them um, what is good for them and what they should have and what they should, what kind of service they should expect and stuff like that. Um, so nowadays, uh, before I even jump into any uh, negotiations or any discussion, uh, the main thing what I'm trying to do is to hear what the client has to say, what they're looking for, what they need, um, what they're expecting, um, what kind of services they would like to have, um, what's their um, the outcome supposed to be from from the kind of collaboration or the, the you know our business doing together. Um, so we have to definitely um, just shut the mouth and open the ears um, so we can listen, we can understand where they're coming from, what they're looking for and what they need. Uh, because that's, I would say, is one of the most important advices um, what I uh, got at some point, because someone kind of pointed this out to me and I basically started kind of reviewing my um, meetings and how was I was like uh, approaching to them and how was I was actually dealing with those 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 clients and and I understood that um, that was one of the biggest mistake what I was doing that I didn't listen much to them I was just um, basically trying to sell them something uh, right on the spot so um, the main reason I want to talk about it because um, like it, it's crucial crucial uh, thing when it comes to um, our business and I would say to any business and then we also see um, well even doing business with other companies or I don't know you buying something they don't listen to us like they don't listen what we are looking for what we want and what we need and stuff like that um, and um, I just want to share that with you because that's completely changed um, well like I started really getting clients without even um, basically putting too much effort into it because um, when I actually know what they're looking for and what they need uh, it was much much easier for me to um, basically negotiate the things which they are looking for and I also noticed that the clients feel more comfortable because the, you listen to them and then you actually trying to understand them where they're coming from and what they need and what they're looking for um, and that completely changes the game um, I, I found like you know right on that spot when I started um, approaching uh, meetings from completely different um, outside angle when I actually started listening to them more and understanding them more uh, this whole thing just completely uh, turned uh, into some some completely different um, I would say outcome when it comes to getting the clients and then being hired by by potential I don't know businesses whatever I was doing so um, I really want to kind of point this out because also I think that um, a lot of photographers, especially at the beginning when they're starting their business, um, they don't feel co confident enough about their work. Um, they are trying somehow um, to showcase uh, the best side of, of, of what, what they do. Um, showcase everything what they just put everything on on the table uh, to the client so the clients you know will be impressed by 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 their uh, services or well, but the quality like whatever they do um, and sometimes as I said we have to take a step back just giving putting all the cards on the table sometimes it's not gonna uh, work in our favor sometimes it's gonna turn against us because um, the client uh, most of the time they coming with a specific uh, mindset where they, they know what they want, what they know what they're looking for um, and that's what they're going to be kind of expecting to 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 um, well, to, to, to um, understand, well, so basically to kind of get out of us. Um, so we have to kind of um, 
as I said, take a step back and um, listen first and then just get into uh, negotiations and then talk a little bit about, um, you know, what the services, what you're providing and what you can offer uh, for the client. Um, that's also kind of um, make the good negotiations much, much easier because um, you don't have to just jump, um, you know, through some hoops to, you um, show the client um, what you do and stuff like that. You can actually just simply um, talk about those things which the client is interested in. So you don't have to just kind of uh, run around with different things and then just talk about things which your client probably is not even interested in. Um, and I also noticed, um, and this is something which um, I found quite um, amusing sometimes that, you know, photographers, especially um, when they have those meetings, they try to, um, you know, let's say they, 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 they want some awards and they, let's say, um, you know, they photography awarded, um, they get some awards for their work and stuff. Um, and quite honest, I found that uh, clients simply, they, they don't really care about that. Uh, it's sometimes, silly um I, I i think the ego is sometimes just coming out of those people that they like well i'm the awarded photographer or whatever um but i also i think that the most important thing is the quality of your work and your service um, and also uh ability to listen to the client's needs i think this is one of the factors which um is crucial and it's really important and then we have to uh, make sure that um, we take that approach uh, dealing with clients by um, as i said listening to their needs and and what they what they actually um they're looking for so um that's really i would say one advice and one tip but i think that that's this the most important starting point when you actually um take this approach and you actually start implementing this i would say listening thing into any um well any um feelings or any uh, negotiations, um, you will see this is completely is going to uh, change your business. So you will see that uh, you will start getting more and more client and people are going to be much more uh, appreciated uh, your work and then in what you do. And, and I also found that sometimes, you know, your work doesn't have to be top notch, um, but the ability to proper communication with the client and listening to the client and um, try to, I would say, find uh, the balance, uh, what you can provide and what they're looking for. Uh, that's also starts from, um, you know, knowing what the client is uh, is looking for. So, so that's something which is extremely, extremely important in my opinion. Um, and that's something what I would like to share today. Um, I hope that was interesting. I would definitely would like to hear your feedback on this. Um, I know there's so many other factors which are important and uh, this is not everything what you have to do. Uh, but I think that it's a starting point and it's really important. And um, I also found that um, quite often, uh, most of uh, most of us uh, forget about it. And then, as I said before, um, like it took me years, which you really think about it. It's, it's, it's when I look at back, I, I think I was just, just dumb that I couldn't figure out um, this whole thing earlier. But it took me years and years and years. And someone at some point said like, well, man, like, you know, I don't want to listen to this crap. Um, I want you to listen what I have to say and I want to listen you have to listen what the client uh, needs so um, you have to really change that and um, from from first well, first hand I was like a little bit upset and um, I was just kind of touched that you know someone is just like well what do you mean and stuff like that but then when I started analyzing this whole thing uh, step by step, I was just like, wow, like that's just crazy. Um, so I want to share that with you, especially to those people who um, starting the business or those guys who've been in the business and then they've been doing that mistake. Um, please, uh, yeah, just try, um, you know, switch or tweak or change this a little bit and you will see, um, you know, huge, huge impact on what you do. Um, anyways, um, I would like to wish you guys fantastic week uh great shoots um stay in touch and then i would love to hear from you um especially if you have any comments any feedback um anything what you would like to add 
to this vlog i'm always open excited to to hear from you guys so again wish you great week um and i'll i'll say um try to do another vlog uh later on this week okay take care and bye bye now